हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट कॉमेट के चॉइस एंट्री 2024 एंड दिस विल बी एप्लीकेबल आफ्टर द अलॉटमेंट ऑफ राउंड वन राउंड टू राइट दिस आर द डिफरेंट choices available to the students first it is important to understand if you don't get any seat in the round 1 what will happen so as you understood clearly you will be in very tough situation and why i am saying this please understand me clearly those student who don't get any seat allotted to them in round 1 they will not be able to do choice entry 1 2 3 4 that means they will not be able to do choice one because they have not got any seat so can they cannot accept and freeze they cannot do choice two because they have not got any seat so, so there is no question of accept and upgrade they cannot do choice three because they have not got any seat they cannot reject and upgrade and they can also not do choice four because they cannot exit counseling because their option choice feelings are there but they cannot exercise choice entries right so this is very bad situation next is since you are not able to do choice entry you will not be able to add modify delete your college course list no need to pay fees also and among this only good news for the students who didn't do not get any seat is that they can do editing which is add modify remove the college from the choice fillings in the round 3 so that is the only good news that in the round 3 they will be able to add colleges but again then there will be limited options left from the college and course which will be available vacant in the third round so that is the option for the students who don't get any seat in the round 1 itself the choice entry is nothing but choice decision making what choices or decisions you want to take in the counseling process so there are four choices and you should understand these choices very clearly accept and freeze are basically for the students who are satisfied with the seat allotted and are willing to report to the allotted college and do not wish to participate in the subsequent round right so if you understood my words you know you will have to download your online allotment letter and fees payment receipt after once you have paid the fees and those students are expected to report to the college as per the date which is given in the allotment letter so that is your choice de de definition and decision and what is this student accept and freeze eligible for next round no because you have accepted the college itself right and what is the total fees uh, you are expected to pay some students are asking can i pay half the fees and so on no you have to pay the total fees of the first year total fees of the first year in all the top colleges around 2.61 lakhs and this is without any extra college fees you will pay in the college so without college fees you have to pay total fees which will come around 2.61 lakhs for all the top 30 40 colleges and after those set of colleges the to total you know total fees to be paid uh during counseling will be around 1.8 lakhs right that is for the second tier of college so there are two tiers of comet k college one is 2.61 and second one is around 2. Point, uh, sorry 1.8 lakhs right so that you have to pay total fees second option is accept and upgrade so here you know it says that students are satisfied with the allotted seat but they still want to upgrade very clear to understand so what will happen if you get the higher options in the second round then your the first round seat would be automatically cancel this is very important please don't ask you know can i go back to my old seat you cannot go back to old seat if you get a new seat remember but if you fail to get a new seat because uh, you are not getting any other college better than this in that case your previous seat is available with you you can join that seat so the question is can you participate in the further round yes you can participate in the second round and what is the fees to be paid again you will need to pay the fees of the college you have been accepting right currently and going for upgrade so total fees similar to the first type of student but what is the difference here you don't need to report to college except accept and upgrade students please don't report to college you just 
take the allotment letter and wait for the second round of counseling. Your allotment letter can be updated based on higher option if you are able to get it. Now coming to the reject and upgrade. That definition itself means you are not satisfied with the allotted seat and you want to reject the seat but you still want to go for the next round of counseling. Yes, then you are also eligible for next round. But the question is, do you need to pay the fees? If you see the page 22 of the 33, right, in the information brochure, it is mentioned that total fees of the college you are allotted and are rejecting needs to be paid. So these type of students are also going to pay the fees of the rejected college. So that is the difference. And last one is quite easy. Reject and withdraw. You are not satisfied with the allotted seat and you don't want to participate in the further round of counseling. So in that case, you don't need to pay fees and you are basically out of the counseling. So those are the four implications for choice entries, which I have mentioned, which is different from choice filling, right? So that's all in this particular video. And uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the committee process and